Welcome back to part two of our video for our geomorphic mosaics, or otherwise known as our sandstone mosaics. Um, this one right here is mine, and I added color to it, and let me show you how. So after uh, my sand set a little bit, I went in with liquid watercolor. This is what we used in class. Um, it's a little bit more opaque, it's richer, um, and a little bit easier to use when you have a squirt bottle. Um, but it's a little bit tricky to package those up for anyone who's working remotely. So if you were using this in class, literally we just would squirt it on in areas you wanted to have your color. So I used all my warm colors. I used my red, orange, and yellow. But I started with yellow, made everything yellow. Then I went in with orange, and then I went in with red to create like this warmth coming out from my stones. If you're using an actual watercolor set, you'll have a brush. So you want to add liquid to the watercolor and you can brush or dot it on and that's going to colorize your sand. And it's your choice how you want to do that. I've had students who overlaid colors. I had students who went in very specifically in areas and colorized certain things. We had some who did kind of a warm, cool color combination. There's lots of ways you can do this. Um, so definitely if you're working remotely and you have questions, let me know but send me a photograph of your piece when it is done. I cannot wait to see it.